Now, time to start your day with all the news you're waking up to on Good Morning Britain. Good morning, Britain. Horror in the playground. Four innocent children stabbed as they played in a French park. One of them, a three-year-old British girl, is seriously ill in hospital this morning. We are shocked by this heinous, unspeakable act. When it affects children, I think we are all affected profoundly. A 31-year-old Syrian refugee has been arrested. Police, though, ruling out any links to terrorism, but so far appear to be struggling to find a motive for such an horrific attack on such young children. Tomorrow is set to be the hottest day of the year so far. With an amber heat warning coming into force in just three hours' time, this fears the weather could increase pressure on the NHS as Brits struggle to cope with soaring temperatures. Some parts of the country are going to be hotter than Ibiza and Milan today. We have these health warnings in place because there's a growing realisation that hot weather can be just as damaging to the vulnerable as the cold. And for those hoping to call off at the seaside, beware of the other threat from the skies. Seagulls, are they harmless? A menace? Do they require drastic action to rid the beat birds from our beaches? We're going to be debating that later on in the show. And Soccer Ray kicks off this weekend. The biggest stars from the beautiful game, Harry Redknapp, Paddy McGuinness, and Mo Gilligan will be joining us live to talk all pre match build up after 8 o'clock. Warmth and sunshine continue. Temperatures up to 30 this weekend, triggering an amber heat health alert for the risk of thunderstorms. I'll have all details of that and more coming up on Good Morning Britain. Friday, 9th of June, 2023. Live from Television Centre in London, this is Good Morning Britain with Ben Shepherd and Kate Garraway. Hello there, good morning. We've made it to Friday, Kate Garraway. We have made it to Friday. Uh, as you know, I've been uh, brimming with happiness for the last couple of days uh, since West Ham won the... How long? Oh, do we give? Do we give you six months of I would say unbridled six joy? Months. I've waited forty-eight years yeah, for a moment like this. Okay, uh, fair but enough. actually, it doesn't take the big things like no. your team winning in Europe no. to get happy. Uh, a survey has been done, uh, which finds that there's the small things in life that bring us happiness. Often is, isn't it? I often think that.